New details on an American woman missing in Aruba. 35-year-old Robin Gardner vanished a week ago. Her travel companion has been detained by Aruban police, and we're going to speak with Gardner's roommate in just a moment. But first, more on the story from CBS News correspondent Elaine Quijano. Nine days after Robin Gardner vanished while on vacation with 50-year-old Gary Giordano, a Reuben investigator say they have detained him because of inconsistencies in his story. Giordano told investigators that Gardner disappeared while they were snorkeling near the windswept southern tip of the island. He said they became separated and she never made it back to shore. Big question to me is, did they rent the snorkel equipment, the fins or the flippers and the snorkel? Perhaps there's a record that they could be looking into to determine whether or not this couple went snorkeling at all. Witnesses say the weather that day was clear and the water was calm. A Reuben prosecutors wouldn't say what parts of Giordano's story are in doubt, but in a statement to CBS News, they said it was decided to detain him for further questioning on the possible drowning of the woman. Prosecutors aren't the only ones who have questions for Giordano. Gardner's boyfriend claims that it's highly unlikely she would have ever agreed to go snorkeling at all. I just don't think that she was snorkeling. I, I feel in my heart that something happened that at this person's hand. In response, an attorney for Giordano, who's been in police custody since last Friday, said there is no concrete or direct indication that our client might be involved in any illicit act. Authorities can only hold Giordano for five more days without pressing charges. And until Gardner is found, the answer to what happened to her will remain a mystery. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, New York. And joining us now is Robin Gardner's roommate and close friend, Christina Jones. Christina, good to see you this morning. Again, Thank we're you. sorry it's under these terms. Was it, like, uh, was it like Robin to just pick up and go away w with someone like this? Um, I think given the circumstances of just losing her job, and uh, possibly um, going through a rough time, that a trip to anywhere seemed like a, a good idea. Her boyfriend, Richard, has said uh, he didn't believe that there was a romantic relationship between the two of them and didn't really know much about this guy. Um, you're her roommate. Was, was this man, uh, Gary Giordano, was he a, a big part of her life? Had, uh, was he a boyfriend? Um, I wouldn't say he was a boyfriend. He definitely was a friend, and they've known each other for over a year now. Um, he is the, the primary suspect in this case, according to the Rubin police. Um, what, what do you know about him? Had you met him many times over the years? I have never met Gary. Um, I've only heard about him in, you know, through Robin. And um, everything that I'm hearing right now is just from women coming forward about what they know about Gary. Did she ever express to you exactly what the extent of her relationship with him was? I mean, they just friends? Were they just friends? I know that it was a bit of a roller coaster friendship. You know, good one day, not so great the next. But not the type of friendship where it would be out of the ordinary for the two of them to go away on no. something like this. Um, you've been in touch with Robin's family. They've issued a statement, and people can see that on our website if they choose to go uh, to our site. But wh what are they saying? How are they getting information right now? Her family? Yeah. Uh, her mom is working very close with the uh, Aruban authorities, and um, they keep her up to date as much as they can. But again, there's so many questions that are unanswered, and they're not getting those answers either, but they've completely left it up and trust that they're doing the best that they can do. Now, you actually communicated with Robin while she was away mm -hmm. on this trip. What did she say? Did she give any indication that there was anything that wasn't right? Uh, no, for me, I mean, it was a standard message on Facebook. Uh, I know that she had told Richard that she wasn't having a good time. Her yeah. words were, you know, this sucks, really. Yeah. Any reason as to why she wasn't having a good time? No, I don't know. I do know that a lady had called in that had met with um, Gary and Robin on Sunday um, in Aruba, and she said she just didn't really even get that feeling that they were having a, a great time either. Um, when you heard that she was missing, mm -hmm. did it surprise you then, knowing the relationship, the rocky relationship the two of them had? I think any time it would be a surprise if your friend went away and didn't come back. I mean, I'm completely, uh, you know, this is uh, surreal. Yeah. Um, was there any concern on your behalf when you found out the two of them were going away? Did yes. you think that maybe this was not the best idea? Yeah. I was not excited about her going away with Gary. So what was it about this guy that, that led you to, to kind of think that there may be something that's not necessarily not right with the relationship, but definitely not grounds for going away with this, with this man? Um, my only experience that I, you know, that's not just someone telling me that came from Robin is that they were supposed to go on a cruise 
two months prior and when she changed her mind not to go the way that he responded kind of set off a little bit of a firework within my own self so I got a little bit worried when she said she was going to leave to go to Aruba with Gary. All right. Well, Christina, thank you for taking the time and joining us this morning. If you hear anything, obviously, please let us know. Thank you. All right.